Right, in the previous tutorial, what we showed you how to do is do some of the modifications to weeks, how to change the way things look. What we want to do now is give you sort of a, a um, little more advanced tutorial. This is something you're probably, uh, everyone won't be using. This is just for a couple people. And what I want to show you how to do is add an image to a particular week or topic and how you can also add or embed a YouTube video. And this is one of the more advanced sort of things that you could do um, as far as editing a week or a topic goes, but it's not really hard. So the first thing we want to do is click Turn Editing On. And what we want to do first is show you how to embed an image here. Occasionally some people like to do this just to add a little bit of, uh, add some graphics to a course to sort of liven the course up that way. Sometimes some people want to add a little icon that's going to represent what they're doing that particular week. So. Since we want to add it to a particular week, what we want to do is hit the Edit Summary button. And we want to decide where that image belongs. So what I want to do is add an image of the uh, an NJIT logo. So I'm going to put my cursor wherever I want to add the image. And under here I have this Insert Image button. It's the little picture frame with the mountain. If you click that, what it's going to do is open up a new window and this is called your files area. These are all the files that are associated with your class. Because I've taught this class before, I have folders, I have lots of content that I've uploaded. But you probably don't have any of those by default, so what you're going to need to do is browse for an image and upload it. So in this case, I'm going to browse for an image. What I want to do is find the logo, an NJT logo. I've downloaded it already to my desktop. It's called logo.gif. I'm going to browse for that and now what I want to do is upload it. And what I'm doing is I'm uploading it to my course. Now by default, just because you upload something does not mean a student's going to be able to see it. What you're going to need to do um, is point them to it. So I've uploaded it to my course and if I click the little checkbox to the left of the name, actually I'm sorry, if I click the little text logo.gif, it will display the item to the right and it will put in the path to that file up top. Now what it wants you to do next, it has, now that it automatically grabs the image URL for you, is to add some alternate text. This is so that if someone's uh, visually impaired, um, it will read to them the description of what the image is. Or if you're um, accessing it from a mobile device or the link is bad, you could mouse over it and we'll give you a description. So in this case, I'm just going to call it NJIT logo. You can decide whether you want a border thickness. If you want a border thickness, you can just put in the number two. Um, you can set the alignment, whether you want it to be uh, centered, whether you want it to be um, to the left, to the right, that sort of thing. And what you want to do is just hit OK. And that image will then appear in your, in your little text area. So I see it there. I see the title, Week Zero, General Course Information. I'll make this bold. Now what I'm going to do is save changes. And what's going to happen is you'll notice that when the students were to log in, they'll see an icon here, an image in this case, and the title. And again, some people like to do this so they could add a little bit of, you know, some graphics to the course. The second thing that I want to show you how to do is how to add an embed a YouTube video. Occasionally you may find a YouTube video that you want everyone to see. You want to Instead of putting a link to YouTube for it, you can embed it right into your course. Some people really like to do that. So in this case, we're going to go down here and we're going to edit the summary for this particular week. I went to a week where there's nothing there. I'm going to click Edit Summary. What we want to do is go into the code view. So I'm going to first go to the toggle HTML source. That's the two brackets. I'm going to click that. And the next thing you need to do is go to YouTube and grab the video that you want. In this case, this is um, an NJIT instructor. He has a video that he's, that's been uploaded to our NJIT YouTube channel. And every YouTube video is going to have this little piece of embed code. It's going to start with an object. It's going to end with an object. If you just copy that, so by you select it, hit Edit Copy, what you're going to do is be able to paste this now into Moodle. So I'm going to navigate back to Moodle. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to Edit, Paste. 
and it's going to paste the code in. This is the code that YouTube gave me. You don't need to know HTML. You don't need to do anything else. And when you're done, what you want to do is click the Save Changes. And now, at, the, at this particular week, what you'll notice is if students were to log in, they were going to go down here, that YouTube video would automatically be embedded in the page for them. So they could watch uh, an item directly there. They don't have to go anywhere. This is really good if you found a video on YouTube that someone else has posted and you want to point your students to it. You can just do this and they could play it directly in, in, the, in the Moodle course. So this is again a little bit more advanced. It's likely that a lot of you probably won't have the need to, the, to do this. But if you do want to link to uh, a YouTube video or what's probably more likely you want to include an image, this is how you can do it.